So for this video, we are taking on the Night Mother's Crypt Part 2. Uh, this is a continuation of the Kill Alassan path. So if you chose to kill Alassan in Part 1 and fought against Garnag, uh, this would be your encounter for Part 2. And we're going to go ahead and dive right in. Uh, you can tell from the screen we're playing a Control Mage list for this. Uh, this is largely because the opponent plays a lot of cheap creatures. Uh, the opponent also starts at 50 health, and as it says, Alisan is eager to kill your creatures because she uses uh, creatures that have slay and begins play with a Brotherhood Sanctuary. Uh, I don't want to start with any of these. Uh, so to combat that, we use a relatively heavy prophecy list, though getting them in the opening hand isn't that great. Uh, we do still have Uther Nier, so when we crack runes... Uh, we do get free trinkets, the zero cost cards, however, she starts at 50 health, which is a challenge. Wait. Yeah, um, being the listener, uh, she has a lot of Brotherhood Assassins in her deck. That in and of itself proves to be a bit of a challenge. Um, I guess we'll try to slow them, slow them down a bit. Uh, just because they get turns like that with a lot of value, and she doesn't really run out of cards easily. Uh, so again, this list usually runs uh, some heavy prophecies. Um, yeah, let's do that. And the goal is to hopefully hit an ice storm. I lurk in the that shadows. can clear the board because as you can see they play a lot of creatures and you need some sort of wipe. Dawn's Wrath also does the job but Ice Storm is really when you need it to be online because letting it go too long uh, poses a problem. Uh, the double trigger off of that still puts it out of Ice Storm range so we're gonna go ahead and bolt that guy. Still have a lot to deal with that as well. Alright, Prophecy, nope. We know. Mm, prophecy. We know. There we go. There's one. Let's bait Weaver it up. No double trigger makes me sad, but. If I fall, the hiss will Alright, so the curse means we can't trade. It's a bit of a bummer. But. Still not necessarily the end of the world. Let's do that, and I guess this. And then uh, pray that we top deck an Ice Storm here. Because we will likely see him trade here just because of the ward, and then if we have an Ice Storm that can wipe the board, we might be able to stabilize. Oh, he didn't take that path. There's the Ice Storm. All right, so if we can just uh, proactively pop that, that works out in our favor as well. I'll be left with that, but that only swings for one, so I guess that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that and get the ice storm in. Uh, we do have execute for that and or firebolt for that. Just give me a name. So, uh, alright, we've hopefully survived the initial onslaught enough. Um, we need to start gaining health, so we're going to go ahead and go with uh, Broomer, Hive Defender. This can be paired with Cloud Rest Illusionist at some point for a potential swing, so I think we're going to go with the Firebolt here. Personal. Whisper your need to the scales. All right, a lot of juicy targets for this to potentially bring back. Let's Maybe go ahead and get this going. In that health, as long as that Bruma survives, we'll be in pretty good shape. Um, you won't foil my plan. So if he hits here. It's going to go to a 3-1, and then jump to a 5-3, so By the eight, they will make their we are going to swing, but we're going to kind of do like a proactive firebolt, because now if he swings here, 
he just outright dies. Whereas if we wait to Firebolt, he gets Let's too go, big. Then. My time is precious. All right, that's a bit of a problem. We don't have Mirak to steal it quite yet, which would be ideal. All right, so the Execute can deal with that, but so can Daggerfall, which is fine. A couple of different options that we could go with. Let's do this. Just to see what we draw. You won't foil my plan. Mm. Let's do this as well to see what we draw. Nice try. Care to go again? You right. won't foil my History plan. So sadly, not much we can do to protect this. If he wants to take that trade, he can. Um, all right, there we go. We do have Manticora's online Let's next go, turn, then. and my we do have uh, Mirak the turn after. I so. lurk in the shadows. Wait. Also, not necessarily the end of the world. I, I would really like to Mirak one of those just because we would like to get the discount draw. These streets are mine. Doesn't look like we're gonna get that opportunity though. couple of different ways that we could go with this. Um, I mean, we have to clear up this lane. And we have to clear up this. Well, uh, we can take paths with Manticora, or we could use our Dawn's Wrath. I really feel like Manticora is probably the right way. I'm just trying to figure out what it is that we want to leave behind. Um, I think we're going to leave behind the uh, Baroness that's over there, just because that hopefully means we can mirror up that next turn. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, trade this in here. This will take a pot shot. This will take a pot shot. And then sadly, we lose our Bruma because we have to take that trade. Praise to our unholy matron. Alright, so the Viper is. annoying. These streets are mine! Steal from folks who ain't using it. That's the key. Well, that kind of changes what we are looking to do now, doesn't it? Um, I was really hoping to Mirak that, but I don't think that's going to be an option now either because we pretty much have to kill this as well. And we don't have a good option to do so otherwise. So we're probably looking at like execute lightning bolt javelin. It's only got 15 cards left in the deck. There's not really any incentive for us to start popping runes yet, even after a turn like that. It does appear like that is uh, gonna be our path. I lurk in the shadows. More assassins. Like I said, they run a lot. That's only the six. Need to get mother some flowers. There's Cicero. Which is a fine, we'll leave none fine target for uh, that execute as well. Yep. That does appear to be the case. I guess we could have just also used Dawn's Wrath there, but trying to establish a board presence is pretty important as well. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll lead my family to glory. The hist provides. Alright. That's a problem. Getting pretty 
pretty low there, though. And we do get this trade. Shayor, take you. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and nice draw. Care to go again? Yeah, let's go ahead and do a dawn's wrath here. There's a blood magic lord. We're really just hoping for no drain life. That would be a bit of a problem. It's a rather timely. Wouldn't mind miracking that as well, but again, at this point, he's just got too many ways to kill us. Like, if we Mirak, and this technically isn't lethal, but we do know that he runs the Viper, and uh, it would be really demoralizing to lose shadows. to a Viper lethal. Wait. Hey, look, it's another Brotherhood Assassin. There's seven. You. But it's down to six cards in the deck. Any. So, at this point, uh, we're getting pretty close to being able to potentially just deck our opponent. Um, we do have the Dawn's Wrath. Now we could generate uh, 9 damage right now, which would be 2 runes, take it down to 4 cards in the deck, and then when they draw it would be 3 cards, but I don't think that's the course of action quite yet. So I do think it's Blakely, Dawn's Wrath, and Black Dragon. Yep, looks, looks like the right way to go. The dark yeah, let's do it. Let's do it here. Putting it over here doesn't help us in I any way, shape, or form, so... Wait. There's... there's that Viper. Viper lethal incoming. So many assassins. Alright, down to four cards. So again, we can crack two runes. We're really, really close. To being able to uh, just just get the uh, the fatigue win, but you cannot hope we have to not die. Destiny. So we're gonna do this, and we're gonna firebolt. And we're gonna pass. I lurk in the shadows. There Wait. is another assassin. Down to two just cards. Just give me a name. There's a Slayer. So again, we're not completely out of it. We do have the Bolt. And uh, the Javelin. Alright. Down to uh, two cards left in the deck. By the eighth, they will meet their makers. No, for sure. We're going to uh, get some trinkets from Uther here, but we're going to push it. We know. Gotcha. Um, that actually might work out really well just because of the presence of uh, Close Call and Mirak. <laughs> so there's a Murkwater Witch. Whisper your need to Shadow Scale. And there you have it. So. Dangerous, but control the board, do the thing. So, in case you're kind of wondering what this deck looks like and what you have to plan for, um, we don't know what this last card was, obviously, but just remember eight Brotherhood Assassins. That's why the Ice Storms are so, so important. That 3 3 body's a lot to deal with. Um, they have the Curse, they got a couple of Murkwater Witches, a couple of Fighter Guilds uh, recruits, Spell Swords, Brotherhood Slayers. Three Stalking Shadow Scales, um, one Lucian, one Defiler, a 
couple of renegades and vipers um, Cicero, a couple of Baronesses, one Blood Magic Lord. Uh, so that's that's what you have to worry about. But thankfully, we... that is uh, the encounter for killing Alessand Dupree. So we are going to do uh, videos for if you side with Alessand and kill Uther instead as well. So if you haven't seen those, be sure to check those out. Uh, but there you have it.